And that's how Oklahoma City got the nickname of a city that's built in a day was because they went from a population of seven people to a population of over 10,000 people in the span of six hours. Now that's actually ahead of us on the man on the wagon being pulled by two horses right about to jump over the canal. That man on that wagon is the statue of Paul Moore, the artist and designer of these statues. He put himself on that statue as his way of signing his artwork. Right next to himself, he put Will Rogers. Will Rogers was a very famous Oklahoma man. He was a cowboy humorist, actor, and stage performer before he unfortunately passed away in a plane accident. So to commemorate him, they named streets after him. They named parks after him. They named our airport here in the city after him. And Paul Moore plays him right there next to himself as a way of honoring what he meant to the Oklahoma people. But Paul Moore wanted the monument itself to look as realistic as possible, so he cut back the sides of the canal, and he makes red clay with concrete. And that's how he was able to get the muddy hook prints going into and out of the water on both sides. So my battery went out.
What are you going to school for? I went to school for an office management type of degree. So it's just all types of office work that you could do and like typing and all that good stuff. Yeah. Um, and then halfway through, I realized I didn't like office work. But I wanted to finish what I started. So halfway through is when I got this job. Started working outside. That's what I mainly wanted to do was be able to be outside all day. You will, um, you will miss this job. Yes, I will miss this job a lot. Because that's just something like I can't stand being inside all day. So when I graduated last May, I decided I was going to stick around here for a while longer. For as long as I can, at least. Now, just on this right side here, you'll see Bass Pro. Bass Pro was the first major business to move into this area after Bricktown was revitalized. So even after Bricktown went through this revival type thing where they went from nothing to all of a sudden having life again, businesses were still kind of concerned about moving their business into this area because they didn't want to take a chance of something happening again, which is understandable. So we were able to make a deal with Bass Pro. We built the actual building for them. We paid for the cost of the building of it. And then they came and they actually put their store there. So for, it helped them by cutting back the cost of having a store start up here. And it helped us because once they moved in, it showed other businesses that this was the place to be and that this was a chance and that it was going to work out. And so they followed and they followed Bastro in. And now Bridgetown's a thriving community and a thriving tourist area. So their risk really did pay off. But that wouldn't have been, wouldn't have been possible without Bastro first taking that risk on us. Now that tower ahead of us is the Devon Tower. The Devon Tower is the tallest tower in the state of Oklahoma. It's also the tallest tower between Chicago and Dallas. It stands 844 feet tall and it has 50 floors. The Devon Energy Corporation is headquartered in that tower, so it's mainly their offices. But on their top two floors, the 4th, 9th, and 15th floor, they have a restaurant called The Bath. It's open for public and beautiful views for the entire city of Oklahoma City.
supposed to move going through this direction for some reason. But you are going to feel a couple more harder bumps and tugs on the right side. So get docked. So like I mentioned before, Stacey in. We haven't lost a single person yet. It'd be pretty sad if we lost on the right here at the end. 